Well, hello everybody, Queen Bee here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to Going Medieval. This is a fresh new look, a first look and a first impressions of Going Medieval, a brilliant looking colony building sim. It feels to me, I've played a little bit, feels to me like uh, a medieval rim world. And I'm really excited to be playing it. On their store page, it says stake your claim in this colony building sim and survive a turbulent medieval age. Construct multi-storey fortresses in a land reclaimed by wilderness. Defend against raids and keep your villagers happy as their lives are shaped by the world around them. And I've got to say, I played probably about half an hour of this and I'm super impressed. It really, as I say, does feel a bit like a medieval rim world. Um... There are a few little bugsies and a few little glitches, but on the whole, this plays really, really nicely and smoothly. It is currently in uh, in testing. You can jump onto their store page and get um, kind of pre-release access. You click to apply to the, the, the Going Medieval playtest and you'll get access. It is coming out. It is being released on the 1st of June. So if you want to play it for free beforehand and get a bit of a feel, see whether you want to buy it, then by all means, dive on in there like I did. Now, scenario-wise, you get three main scenarios. We're going to briefly look over this. You've got your peaceful. You don't get attacked by enemies. Choose if you want to prefer uh, if you prefer focusing on construction and taking care of your settlements got survival where it's a little bit more harsh enemy raids happen frequently and difficulty increases over time and just standard experience you will get enemy raids as well as environmental events they will occur at steady inv intervals and adapt to your progress you got five difficulty settings from very easy to hard you've got difficult easy and normal which is what we're going to be going for there are three different scenarios or starting conditions. You've got uh, the option. Third one is to create your own. Give it your own name, your own narrative, um, how many settlers you want to start, any specific conditions. And I think that's bloody brilliant. Lone wolf, you stamped on your own in the middle of winter. So that's a real harsh starting point uh, with minimal stuff. But that looks cool and I really want to try that. We're going to go for the default, which is a new life. There's three settlers. We start in spring and we get a decent amount of starting gear. So let's click next. We're going to give our settlement a name next. And we can go into the, the map type. We've got valley, hillside or mountain. Mountain, way up in the mountains, lots of gold, iron and silver. Think dwarves is, guys. Think Lord of the Rings there. But less less vegetation for growing stuff, fertile soil, uh, hillside, and like an even balance, an even balance of all resources. It seems to be in a good defensive position. Valley, plentiful vegetation, fertile soil, and clay. Um, less gold, silver, and iron. We are going to go with the hillside. We are going to keep this heraldry. Although you can like you can adapt it. So that's our symbol. We have a, a crown. It's black and yellow. That works. I am Queen Bee. And this is going to be Bee's Hive. That's our settlement name. You get to randomize seeds. This is me. Let me go for another one. Now that one I quite like. Where's the hillside? The hillside's over there, is it? Okay, we'll go with this. Bee's Hive. Nice little heraldry sign. Uh, default map size, you can't increase it at the moment, but obviously you'll be able to. And a random seed. This is what reminds me of RimWorld. You've got the stars, you've got the perks, you've got... Let's run through this very quickly. You can randomise people. You certainly can. They have different ages. This one's 40, 23. Christ knows what the weight and the height means, but they have various perks, like this guy. Super robust. Uh, great hit point recovery, great motor function, and wound regeneration. Uh, but he has excruciating back pains. He's also he's 23, so he's got a few years to go. He is uh, very passionate. Settlers will gain four times more 
uh, XP for this skill. And they're doing it in the same botany. He is passionate. He'll gain 2.5 more XP for this skill. We've got group skills. We've got individual skills. We've also got um, we've got religious alignment. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to have a look at all of this. We want to get a nice even heal over here. And I kind of feel like there's certain skill points that are more important than others to start with. We've got carpentry, construction. Construction is a definite. Botany, we're going to want to get farming. Um, marksman, because we want to be hunting. Uh, intellectual, because we need to be researching. So let's start to have a good look at what we've got here, what we need. Melee. This guy's good at melee. Really good at melee. Um, so yeah, let's have a look through. Let's see what we've got that we can work with. You can randomise them, so you can just choose other people. Very rimworld esque so Let's have a look. I'm going to have a look at these. I'm going to line up a few people, and then we're going to get cracking. Osfrit and Ethgar, Ethelgar. Right, so Ethelgar's got botany. He's good at construction, which is great. He's really good at intellectual, and he's passionate about it. He's a marksman with shit marksman skills, but he can learn them really quickly. Um, and he's a tailor, that, that that I don't particularly care about at this point. But uh, we've then got Melee, um, passionate about Melee. This is Osfrith, he's 44. Dude over here is uh, 33. Osfrith is good at animal handling. Nah, I don't think we need that. But we have got a 13 in Botany, which is great. He's shit at carpentry and construction, not so good. But he is good at medicine and Melee and smithing. And then we've played dude here. Dude here is, uh, we're not even going to look at the, I mean, he's a brawler. This dude is slow and sluggardly. Uh, we'll be able to replace better people in time. Cannot hold off his drink. However, Hank him, 28. Um, good at carpentry, good at botany, good and, well, passionate about animal handling. He's got a number six in marksman skills, but he has got passionate. And speechcraft, he is very passionate. I don't know what speechcraft does. I don't know, but we will find out. What about this? Um, so this guy would need a church of restitution shrine. shrine. And this guy would also need one of those. This dude would barely need one, but he would need one. Okay, so they're all angling in the same way in terms of religion. Let's go. So, Bees Hive. I love this summary that we get. Bees Hive, it shows my settlers. It shows um, what settings we've chosen. We've gone for standard, a new life, hillside. Let's go. Get this loading screen. So, uh, it then brings up a little bit of a, a, a prelude, a, a kind of what happened to, to cause this. And I'm not going to go through the whole lot, but basically a plague ravaged the British Isles, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. As the earth quickened in the spring, these guys set off to claim a piece of their own land, as was their right. Um, Osfrith is confident, defiant even, and says, we will make this work, we'll take our share of land, we'll build there, and we will defend it. Um, and into the land of rolling hills they went. Um... They built a camp that would in time become the settlement of the bees. Hey, so nice little welcome message. It says, welcome to going medieval. Please bear in mind that this game is under heavy development. That means the game will have some bugs and unfinished systems. You can consult the almanac for help and tutorials. This is, is kind of like a tutorial on controls that I'm going to skip through. This is the almanac. It's really, really useful. Look at it. It tells you what you've been killed. It, uh, it has a good index. It tells you all about materials, equipment, miscellaneous. It's really, really good. So we've landed here. Let's have a quick pan out and look at our map. Can we, can we, can we bring up a map? No, apparently not. Um, so let's just have a look. This is the edge of the map. Just going to look for a nice settlement place if we've got one. This, this here looks pretty defendable. Um, I'm thinking that to start with, we maybe put our buildings down here. Get down there. 
I mean, can they? No. So first thing, we're going to need a stockpile. It's very much like RimWorld. You want to get everything shifted. Yeah, they can get down there. So we want to put that stockpile. Let's, let's chuck it here to start with. Gonna need to put the floor down. Apparently that helps from uh, things degrading. Then we're gonna need to select all of this. Get out of the way, Mr. Man. Select all of this. Right, so who is what's his skills he's our marksman so he well he needs to come and pick up stuff he needs a short bow because he can't equip the long bow he's not skilled enough um we haven't got the best of um marksmen this guy is great at melee so i kind of feel like let's see he can have a sturdy seal a steel sword and Ethelgar will have, isn't there, there should be a friggin' a bow type thing. Unless it's been moved already. Maybe it has. What's what's down here? Yes, a uh, spear. There we go. Bow type. What an idiot. Okay, so next I want to just harvest a few things. We're just going to put a really small little house type thing down here. Boom. But let's close, let's get rid of that. I just think for now we've got to be really extra cautious on the resources that we need and that we use. So let's come in here. We want to put a wooden wall up. That's going to go there. Like so. Bring in two. Two. We'll just have one door. And we'll have one window. More below so. Right, who's our hunter? Uh, Hank in. Go and kill a deer. Please. Kill the deer. So off he goes a-hunting. We want his skills to get better. So we'll let him do that that down as well i do like this guys it feels really really nice um we are going to put a thatched roof on there but first off i want to throw down the beds inside we're going to have three beds one two three we're also going to chuck down a torch now i think they're all of the church restitution thingy aren't they yes they are so let us put down a wooden restitutionalist shrine and i'd also like research table i'm just going to chuck it there along with a campfire that i'm going to put there oh below so let's leave them to crack the puck on they're taking their sweet while to construct this, aren't they? Oh, researcher. Probably Hankin. No, Ethelgar. So, next I want to come into here. Um, what is it? Schedule? No. No. I like, though, how all these bits and bobs pop up. Like proper tutorials. That's it. Jobs. So, Ethelgar, we want you to focus on researching. Yes, we do. 
Right, so all of them need convalescing priority one. At the moment, we need people to prioritize constructing. They're all hungry. They need to prioritize hauling as well. Okay, so we need to get some research done. Uh, and look at these skills. Look at them. There's loads here. But sure, there we go. We just click and drag. Look at it. Marvelous. Agriculture, brick making, brewing, preserving, tailoring, weaponry, defensive structures, research to blacksmithing, st uh, steel, swords, crossbows, oh, distilling. This is so exciting. Let's unlock that. Now they're starting to get shit done. They finally sorted that stockpile out. Soon they'll move on to chopping wood. So there goes that campfire. That's been put together. Cool. Excellent. They're now starting to construct shit properly. Hey, who's our cook? Who's best at food? Honorary skill six. Four. Eleven. Ethelgar. Ethel Gar. You're going to prioritize cooking. And we want you to I don't know what. Until you have ten. There we go. Now let's also craft ourselves up a butchery table. All the religious shrines going up too. Excellent, excellent. Crafting. Uh, butchery table. Mm, let's put that there. We also need a bloody roof, don't we? Let's put that up there. Oh, they get to pray! Look at them praying! They're just zealots. Now this is nice because this, other than here, this is all nice and secure. Here and where is the other bit? They run down here. Oh, I like this. Our house is almost done. It's only taken two days. I've got a shared bedroom. This is going up. Which is great. We should probably queue some of this. So let's queue what? 30? Do. Osfrith has come to do research. Ethelgar is cooking. Ash pile. What do we use ash for? I don't know, but I do have a feeling that we maybe need to. Uh, what's this? Dumping stockpile. Pop that there, shall we, and just put the waste. We don't need to put carcasses there. We'll have our carcasses here because we'll process them. We'll get rid of waste. Excellent. They're sleeping in a house tonight, guys. Oh. This way. Let's grab that. Now we really need to work on improving our resources so let's harvest some of that who's on researcher uh jobs researcher ethelgar is also a cook <sighs> no one else is who 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 research research intellect 12 okay hankin you can do research as well. Now what do we have? We have 10 stew. We need to prioritise sorting out our meat. So uh, we'll do that forever. Ethelgar is butchering. God, he's a hard worker, isn't he, Ethelgar? What a hard worker. Right, next. We've got to get research done. We've done our architecture we need more papers we've got 11 we need 
uh, 15. So we're getting there. 12. Okay. Research. Agriculture. Unlock. Cabbage field. Right, where are we going to put these? These look kind of... Okay, this green area looks good. How do we know what is fertile, fertile and what isn't? I suppose the area with grass is, is fertile. I suppose that's what we're supposed to assume. Let's put a 5x5 five five cabbage field there. Chop a few more trees. Ethel Gar's doing some more research, which is great. The more research he can do, the quicker we can progress. What about maybe we do some mining? No, not there. No, no, no. That's all that. Let's do some mining. Oh, let's get some coal there. Oh, I wonder when we mine. Can we mine this out? <gasps> hmm. So we could then expand that. Oh, my days. This is brilliant. Oh, I like this. That's how we want to do it. <clears throat> we'll leave them mining that. We will, um, I think, we want to build some more walls here. Let's come at this from another angle. Let's come in here. We'll go for wooden wall. I need it to be too wide. That'll do. There. Then I think we need defensive structures. I'm really hoping that we don't hurt ourselves on these traps. I can't imagine that we would, but you just never know. Our cabbages are, are being planted, guys. Our cabbages! What's that? Ooh, right. Okay. Sorry, Hankin. Uh, prioritise hunting the deer. And then, is it Ethelgar? Prioritise researching. <clears throat> researching is much more important right now. And this is really good. You can, like, toggle on the trees and off. The roofs and off. You can view one layer down or, or not. So this group resources and resource panel. Good. Look at that. You can have your food, your textiles. That's really useful. Um... This is oh yes yeah, so can... yeah cool got a grid overlay cool this is all really really fun I love it guys very very Rimworld esque I think it really is reminiscent of Rimworld this is all going up this is our our next defensive structure let's put a a wooden door in here. I hope people can't open the door unless we invite them in. That would be shit, wouldn't it? Lost property. Hearing deranged at first, Marriott was simply overcome with terror. Pitiful stumbling corpse with wheels from biting and harsh beatings by a cruel master. Marriott begged, hide me, I will die if I'm caught. Good. Good at melee and mining. We slam the door in his face. They are pissed off, but they have to suck it up, Buttercup. I don't really want another settler just yet, I don't think. Um, <laughs> Sounds harsh, but there you have it. We've only got four mushrooms. Five stew. What's going on? Like here. Why is nobody cooking? 
Well. Cooking material. Right, cooking, cooking, cooking. Right. Food. Raw ingredients. Cabbage. Raw meat. Raw meat, human. Mushroom. Oh, we can be cannibals. Beet, carrots. Cabbage. Okay, so what do we need for fire? We need someone to prioritise cooking. I, th I just wonder whether we've just like overspent ourselves on, on, on construction. I think we're almost there. And then we should be able to get some cooking underway, which wouldn't be a bad thing because we've got 80 raw meat. We need some stews. So why didn't I want to help him out? Because in two days' time, um, people come and attack our base and I'm pretty sure that we're not ready for it. So we're not going to be helpful. We are not going to be neighbourly. We are going to be selfish. So, look. look. It says, outside, the temperature, that it's foggy, what time of day it is, that it's day six and it's spring. I wonder what winter's like. Dudes, you need to research. Oh, we've got research going on. Good boy, good boy. Who's that? Ethelgar. <laughs> Diamond. Now, what else? What else can we craft? A hay sleeping spot. Wooden table. Do they need that? A small space or small tasks? A clay container, glowing wood or charcoal for warmth. Probably going to need that. We have stools. Let's put stools in. Let's put one, two, small wooden table, there we go, and one more stool. Now they have somewhere to eat. I like that. That makes me feel happy. How's the old research going? Two, two more, two more. Come on, Ethelgar. Do a bit more research. Prioritise production, Ethelgar. One more, Ethelgar, and then we can craft up bricks. Which I assume means we'll need coal. We'll start mining back here, I think. Yeah, coal seam. Go there. Oh, Hankin, good on you. Good on you. Get some coal for us. Oh, I love this. I love the weather. Oh, I just... Oh, he's so happy. He likes the rain. What's his perk? He can't hold his drink. Uh, after the fire, Ethelgar did not really have a face. But he had a purpose. Oh, keys then. Right. Uh, clay brick making. Let's go with that. They've all got... They've all got weapon, weapons, so let us uh, let us get our shit on, um, and we will chuck down a kiln. Where we want to put that? I think you know. I kind of want to build backwards, so pop this here. Fired fifty clay. We've got that. We can do that. No, I think we need a few more cabbages. Um, field. Yeah, a couple more, a couple more plots. Carrots? No, no. Let's uh, get rid of that and we'll put in 
uh, a cabbage field. Um, and a beet field. There we go. Ah, herbs. Oh, yeah, we, we won't overburden them. We won't overburden them. our kiln yet? Not yet. But they are planting our field. Look at them. I wonder if there's a photo mode. Both. He's so good. Look at him. Right, I feel like we maybe work over here now. Can we put... So we want to put wood floor in here. Yeah, we're going to want it to come all the way along here, aren't we? We want wood walls. Along there, and along there. So, how much coal? We have plenty of coal, so we actually want to just, what, well, produce bricks ever. That. Like, we can deconstruct that now. We won't need it, because they can come up the stairs and go around either way, so... Let's then put in oh no a wood wall. As soon as that's deconstructed, let's put in a wood wall. That limestone. Rocky soil. Interesting. Okay, wood wall. This is really great game. Thoroughly enjoying it. Um so defensive structure. These things, I think. All the way. Let's uh, just destroy one, just in case we need to. Question. Oh. Need to leave that empty so they can get there easily. Okay. <clears throat> all good, all good. Happy with this. I really do feel like I'm overworking them, quite frankly. Hang on, research. Really should be uh, pushing on on that. Are we making any clay bricks? Have we made any clay bricks? No, we've been focusing on other shit, haven't we? Well, meat has rotted in the stockpile. Of course it has. Let's let them finish getting this all done. May as well put a roof on it. She doesn't want me to put a roof on it. Still more points to rest on in order for it to be... Can I then put this from here? No. Then we'll put the beam here. There we are. Marveloso. That. Oh. Gonna need more wood. That rotten meat. Blah. Put that down. Push on. Gonna need to hunt. Interesting that you can't actually... You can just choose what an increased priority and decreased priority. That's good. But we can't seem to choose what particular meal we cook, which is a shame. And a couple of wooden walls. Nice, nice, nice. Then once I've done that, we can put a lid on it. This is all done. Just need red currant has rotted away in storage. Of course it has. Put that there. 
then once that's crafted we'll put we'll put another wall in here that's it that's what i wanted to do oh blow so oh and let's see will it, it let me why don't we put those them wooden floors in there let's start uh, that'll do then I think I want to come round here and we can increase priority, can we? Nobody's made us. We only have 50 ash. Okay. We only have enough to create one load of bricks. Shenanigans. Which means we probably do need we probably do need to focus on getting stone cutting. The structures <gasps> wooden traps reinforced door Ooh. why are they miserable oh they're almost out of ale it's gonna get real in a minute <laughs> hey let's let's have a look at this our roof is on this is our gallery for for shooting shit this is back in place so we can now put one wall in. Ooh. Put it. Put it here. There we go. I'll do. Right. I want to let them catch up on everything else that they need to do. I want to focus this dude on the hunting. There we go. His marksman skill is seven. I don't know what it needs for the longbow. The longbow would be really useful right now. Miss. Oh, dude, you're fucking useless. Still, with every shot, he increases his skills, so paste it. There we go. Not a moment too soon, Hankin. Right, I guess we should put in what? Well, we should really keep cranking stuff out because we need more ash. We need a lot more ash. And I suppose here we should. Um, we're cranking them out forever. Just waiting for resources. I've got clay. Hmm. That you, Osfrith. Prioritise production of uh, bricks, please. There we go. There we go. We've got more food coming in. We've got... We've got no ale. We really should research brewing. But I kind of feel... Oh, I don't know. What do we do next, guys? What do you think we do? Um, we've got a nice defensive structure here, I feel. Uh, we've got a nice little farm going here. Uh, a lovely little house here. I really like this game. What do you think about it? I think it's fabulous. I think it's fantastic. We've got a little smelter here. We've started our research. I don't know. Do we go smelting? Do we go brewing? Like, what do we, what do we spec into next? Who the hell knows is, is the answer. I mean, we, we haven't got any barley, so we can't actually brew any, any really important stuff. But uh, let me know what you think of this. I really like it. It really does feel like a medieval Rimworld. They, they've done a really good homage to the structure of Rimworld um, and bought, or are bringing a really good game. Um, 
I'm certainly going to buy this. I'm hooked. I'm going to buy it on the 1st of June. And uh, if you want to try it out beforehand, do go and check it out. Uh, Playtest it on Steam right now for the next eight days. You will not regret it. If you like your colony builders, this is the freaking die for. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, please do consider clicking that like button, subscribing to the channel, and comment in the comment section. You can't not comment about this game. Come join us on Discord. Link is in the description. And if you'd like to support on Patreon, you can do so. The link's also down there. Um, until next time, guys, please stay safe and take care.